hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna be unboxing the your nail lab box for the month of february when this box arrived i did go ahead and take a sneak peek and i'm super excited to finally be unboxing and swatching everything so when i first open up the box it does include an insert card of course as always and then here's an overview of what i have in my box um, like I said, I'm pretty excited. Um, I see a lot of pinks and red. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this unboxing. This first item I'm going to be showing you guys in my box is a gel liner, which is a red gel liner called Rose in Red. And I really love this one. It was super bright and super vibrant. Like the pigment is just so insane. This next one here, we have a glitter gel polish. And I really did love this mixture. Um, I feel like it was a very nice shade of pink as well. This next item here... Um, is another gel polish called foxy and from the ombre swatch on the bottle it does indicate that it is a temperature changing or a uv changing gel so once you cure in the light it does change color and i really like that about it i feel like you can get a sort of like a two-in-one color manicure with this so yeah i think that's very cool this next item here is a raw glitter and i really love this mixture the jar does says a raw glitter and it is in the glitter category on the macar website but these are more like sequin pieces to me they kind of give me like that metal metallic feel to them i really love the colors of them the rose gold and the regular gold also i love this mixture it kind of gives me spring vibes like it has the butterflies flowers bunny ears hearts as well and this color is called pink lady this next item here we have some clear rose charms and these are really interesting as well they do change color once you um put them in the light or experience heat temperatures so as you can see on the right side of the screen i did go ahead and pop them into my light just for about 15 seconds and when i took them out they did turn to a sheer pinkish red color now getting into the other items we do have a poly gel which is called rose now in this box i did have a acrylic powder and also a poly gel usually you just get one because on the website you can take a quiz to see what you like more and most likely you're going to get that item now i don't know if it's just because i am an ambassador or if it's going to be like this for everyone who purchased this monthly subscription but i absolutely love this that way you can experience more than one type of product and honestly i wish that would kind of happen more often because sometimes i wish i had poly gel and sometimes i wish i had acrylic so just having both of them it was really nice and i really hope they start to do it like this more often the last and final item i have in my box are some stiletto xxl full cover nail tips i do have some already like this so i will not be opening these just yet so now that you're seeing everything that came in this month's box i am going to be quickly swatching them um, I'm starting off with this Foxy Gel Polish and like I said, it is a temperature changing. So once I pop it into the light for about 30 seconds, it does turn to a nudish color. At first, I thought it was going to be white, but it is a nude and I really like that about it. I feel like I have a few temperature changing gel polishes. I don't really use them that often, but I should really start to use them more. And here, I was just kind of blowing on it with some cool air. And as you can see, it turned back to that beautiful bright red color right in front of your eyes. I feel like it's mind blowing to know that gel polish can actually do that. That's so cool about it. Moving on to the next swatch here. This is the pink glitter. And I absolutely love this one. It was a really nice glitter mix. Also love how it has that sheerness to it. Also, you can see the glitters very nicely. And also when swatching it, I did feel like it was a little bit bumpy but once i cured it in place it was actually very smooth now moving on to this acrylic swatch so from like the look of this powder um i knew it was going to be a sheer color although i was hoping it wasn't going to be just because i felt like mccart's clear or sheer colors aren't really the best just because i feel like it's super spotty and as you can see like there's not really much color to it. Once I put down the bead, of course the color is there. But once you start to work it over the nail, it just kind of disappears. And I'm not really sure if that's what they were going for. But personally, I don't really like it as much. And like here, it looks okay. It looks very pretty and pink. But once it dries, it does get even more clear. And I feel like there's not enough color to my liking. And what I also noticed about swatching these is the color was mostly where I placed down the bead. Whenever I go to like blend it down to the other areas it just kind of gets clear and yeah i don't really like this powder as much 
So for the poly gel swatch, I don't know what happened to the footage, but here is all of the colors swatched out. Here is the foxy color. Here is the pink glitter. I really love this one. It was so gorgeous. Here is the acrylic. And last we have the poly gel. My overall thoughts on this box is that I really like it this month. Um, I know a lot of people haven't really been liking them, but for this month, I really loved it. Also from last month as well, it was a collaboration with one of my nail friends, Nail by Brandy. So this February box is giving me Valentine's Day vibes because you get a lot of pinks and reds. You also get some roses. Um, and I am a little bit late, so I wasn't able to do a Valentine's Day set before Valentine's Day was over with. But yeah, these boxes are $35 each month on the website. You can unsubscribe anytime you like. If you are new to these boxes, in order to subscribe, I will leave the link down below for you guys to check out. But once you go on there, you will have a quiz to ask which products you like more and make sure that you answer them as truthfully as possible. That way, the items you receive are actually items you like. The products that you receive will range up to $60 to $100 that you only have to pay $35 for. And that's one of the reasons I like it. McCart's products are super good quality and I've really been enjoying them. So I do recommend it. I will leave everything down below for you guys to check out. So for the nails I did with this box first. So here's how they are looking. Um, I really like them, but it was just something about them I didn't really like. Um, I wanted to do something just quick and easy actually using those stiletto full cover nail tips, but... Um, it was just something I didn't really like so I did plug in a video but I'm also going to be doing another set of nails and I was actually pretty bummed because that set only took me about an hour to do it was so quick and easy so I went back to regroup and the following day I applied my square nail tips these are always linked down below in the frequently used products and I feel like whenever I apply tips to my nails the application turns out so much better I haven't done the Femi Beauty method in the longest time like when I did that set it felt so new to me so I actually might just have to like just try it again in another video maybe with using some coffin or some square tips but getting into this application for today so when I started the first video of those stiletto nails I was thinking of Valentine's Day set just because the box was for Valentine's um, but after thinking, I just wanted to kind of do something different, switch it up. So I'm starting off by doing a French tip here on my index nail using another color from McCart. And this is a nude color called A Siesta. It's one of my favorite nudes to use. But doing this French tip, it's always kind of hard for me to sculpt out French tips with poly gel. Um, every time I do them, they seem a little bit crooked. So I do just try to go at a slower pace and just make sure that everything is right in the middle and I also do it very thick as well just because the way I like to do my French tips when doing poly gel I like to make the small line thicker and then once I add on that second color for the tip I can easily blend it down so it just becomes very nice and crisp and I won't have to do much work whenever you do try to encapsulate Frenchies it just takes a little bit more time because you will have to make sure everything is straight before you encapsulate and if something is off it's just gonna throw off the entire design so once I finish doing both of them curing for 30 seconds this is how they are looking taking a half out I'm just going to try to crispen that up a little bit I'm not going to be adding too much pressure because I don't want to make it like uneven so I'm just gently filing the sides just to kind of center it a little bit more and also just make it a little bit neater and I am going to be doing this to the pinky as well Once I was done filing them, I am taking some ice purple alcohol and a stiff manicure brush to remove all of that dust from the filing. And once I finish removing all of it, I'm going to go in with that rose poly gel that came in today's, well this month's box. And I'm just going to fill in the rest of the tip. When doing this part, I always make sure to get a lot of poly gel around that smile line so that I can pack it in place. Um, the main goal is just to fill in that space and... Just make sure that it, is, that it is as smooth as possible because like I said, I am going to be filing it down. So 
um, I just need to really make sure that there's enough poly gel at the tip and also around that smile line area because if there's not enough poly gel around the smile line, once I file, there will be gaps and empty spaces. So that's just really my main focus when doing this. Of course, I try to smooth it out as much as possible to save some time when filing. And this pink part is a lot lower than the nude part. Um, I do that intentionally just because how I explained it. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in. Once I get it smoothed out, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds and then repeat that on my pinky nail. And once I got them all cured, here's how the nails are looking. For my remaining nails, I am going to be using this all-in-one acrylic that I got in my box as well. Um, I'm also going to be taking some of these glitters here called Sassy, and these are from Secret Nail Affair. I had this look in mind because like I said, when I first did my nails, I was thinking Valentine's Day, but um, it was getting closer and closer. I didn't want to have like too many Valentine's Day nails posting after it. So I just went in another direction. If you remember or if you commented on it, I did post something on my community tab saying like what are some character nail art that you guys would like to see me do this month. This is actually my first like nail art like this I'm going to be doing this year. So I'm super excited and I loved how it turned out. Also, is it weird that I am using a poly gel and acrylic in one design? Like, you typically wouldn't really see that, but since I did receive it in the box, I wanted to use it. And after thinking of the next design I'm going to do, it was like the most perfect color I needed. And it was there, it was perfect for what I needed, so I just went for it. Also, there are no rules against using acrylic and poly gel, just as long as the nails get done and you love them. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing a full coverage nail on here. I'm not going to be building this nail up because I will be encapsulating some of those glitters. And I am just keeping this layer very, very thin. Once I get it to my liking, I'm going to place some of these glitters on there. For this middle finger, I am kind of placing the glitters like around. I'm not really focusing the glitters like right in the middle because I know for sure it's going to get covered up. So I'm not going to be like wasting glitters and just focusing it on a place that's not going to be seen. So for this nail, I'm going to put them like around the center and then I'm just going to move on to the next nail doing the same thing. So I was going to try to talk about other things, but I don't really know what else to say. Also, I don't really have much time just because I was supposed to do this voiceover last night um, and, I, and I couldn't get it done. So I am running a little bit behind schedule. Um, so I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this part. I think the application was really nice. If you are enjoying today's video, make sure that you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are here and you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe. It will really help me out a lot. And if you are feeling generous, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Okay, so this part happened a little bit faster than how I thought it was going to, um, but here are the nails once I finished. I did just go ahead and add some glitter on that as well. Um, I didn't really focus the glitter on my ring finger around the center how I did my middle finger just because the design is going to be a little bit different so it wasn't necessary. 
Um, I also went ahead and did my thumb off camera. I went ahead and encapsulated it just because my nail art is going to take up a little bit more time. And also I did just want to add a little bit of filing just because the way I was explaining how I'm doing my French tips, it may be a little bit confusing on like the process. Not really confusing, but like I just wanted to include this step so that you can see the entire thing. So like I mentioned for my French tips, I do like to make my smile line area, like the nail bed area a lot thicker. That way once I file it down, it's just going to be like super crisp. I also think I did another video on this as well. I'm not really sure which one it was, but I'm taking a hand file and I'm just going over where those two colors connect because I do want to file it down to make it like really neat. So I need to file away all of those overlapping parts and that's basically how I do it. So like there's not really much work on trying to make everything perfect. Um, I also go in on the sides and the free edge. Also, I go around the cuticle using my Beyond Pro drill from Kara Sky. I'm also using their medium grit 5-in-1 bit to go around the cuticles and also just do a little bit of debulking where the nail is a little bit too high. And yeah, that's basically how I'm going to be doing the filing for both of my Frenches. And then of course, once I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and file all of the other nails like I normally do. When I was filing these nails, all of them did pop off because I have a peel off base um, and it was actually getting late. I started like this part, the sun was going down and I felt like the nail art was going to take a lot more time. So once I finished filing them off camera, like this is not the end because as you can see, it has some ridges and dents from that drill bit. So I will have to go in and smooth out the surface. Um, and I did go ahead and finish that off camera. Once I finished, all of them popped off except for my thumb. So since it was getting late, I didn't want to, I didn't want it to be really dark when I was done. So I just went ahead and kept them off. I went to sleep and the next day I reapplied them and this is how they are looking. Um, I don't really like my French tip on my pinky nail just because it looks crooked. But yeah, that's how the base of my nails are looking. And now for my nail art. I'm taking some gel polishes. Like I said, these are not from the McCart Your Nail Lab box. I went in a totally different direction. I mean, but I did use the poly gel and acrylics, so I think we're good on that. But yeah, these are just some of the products I'm showing um, that I'm going to be using to do my nail art. Um, for my main color, I'm going to be using is this pink here from Madame Glam. And this pink is called Bright Barbie Pink. And I'm just gonna start by putting some on my nail palette so I have it accessible to use. Also for the nail art, I'm going to be using some of these Nails by Devs brushes. Um, if you don't know, she's like super good at nail art. She has amazing products for nail art. I've been really loving her brushes and also her liner gels. They're super good quality. Also, I did purchase this shading gel in a black color from her website um, a few weeks ago. This is my first time going to be using it. I'm also just going to be putting that on my nail palette. Alright, so as you saw by the thumbnail and title, I'm going to be doing some cute little Care Bear, Care Bear nails. And just to make this part a little bit easier on myself, something I see Nails by Dev do when she does nail art is that sometimes she take her shading gel and just kind of outline like what she's going to be drawing. And that's just what I did off camera. It doesn't look like much. It honestly looks terrible, but that's the best I could get it. I went ahead and cured that for 30 seconds. And now I'm going in with that bright Barbie pink from Madam Glam. And I'm just going to be filling in this Care Bear. So for this part, it was rather easy. But once I started to fill in this outline, um, and as I was looking back to my inspo picture that I have off to the left of the screen, um, I started to notice that some of the proportions of like the areas wasn't correct. So I didn't want to like mess anything up. So I just went ahead and colored everything in the way I have it. In the process of me thinking, I was just going to go ahead with the outline and just kind of clean up everything because I don't want it to look like weird if I don't have enough color here. And I'll just find a way to fix it some kind of way. And it really worked out. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in. And with this color, it is a gel polish. So it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it to be. So once I fill this in, I'm trying to make it as smooth as possible so there aren't really too many ridges in the design. This is how it's looking so far. I went ahead and cured that for 30 seconds and now I'm going in with another layer to make it more opaque.
So now that I have the second layer of the Care Bear color cured, I'm taking Nails by Dev white gel paint and I'm just filling in the belly area. And using these gel paints was a lot more easier than the regular gel polishes. If you haven't tried Nails by Dev gel paints, I really suggest that you try them. I have her white and her black and also her primary collection which are just the red, orange, yellow, blue, and green. I love those so much. Depending on what you're going to be doing with that color, it only takes one coat and they're so easy to work with. They don't slide out over the nail, they go exactly where you put them which makes them so perfect for nail art. Since this is a really small area, um, when I did the first layer it had a lot of streaks on it and I didn't want to put too much because I don't want it to wrinkle. Um, so I went in with a really really thin layer and just because it had a lot of streaks in it, I cured that for 60 seconds and I did another layer also curing for another 60 seconds. And now that we have that, I'm going to go in with the black and the Hella Cute Lana brush. This has been one of my favorite brushes to use. And I'm basically going to be taking the black liner gel just to do the outline and just kind of really to start forming this Care Bear together. I um, mean, this is really going to make this design. So whenever you are doing the outline, just try to work really slow. Try to get those lines as perfect and precise as possible. And it was kind of difficult since I haven't really done nail art like this before. I have did a few videos, but not really like Nails by Dev. So I just try to go in and take my time. I was working at a really slow pace. So of course I had to speed this up. Otherwise, it would have took all day, um, and which is why. I mentioned how I wanted to wait until I had enough time so I'm able to take pictures. But yeah, while doing the nail art is super satisfying and going in to correct the ears. So I'm not going to draw the outline all the way over the pink area. After I did most of it, I did go ahead and take an e-file and a setting band and just kind of tap it on that area to remove that product. So it wouldn't be like really weird just still sitting at the top of the Care Bear's head. And so yeah, I did just go ahead and try to correct it the best I could with this black liner gel. And here you see it's gone because I did mess it up. I had to erase the whole entire head and also the first arm that I drew. But I didn't want to show you guys again. So I just kept the first one. And this part was really tricky because I tried to do the outline without curing. Um, at least until I got into like the finer details. Um, so for this outline here, I don't think I've cured it yet. So I really had to make sure I was just really careful in getting those lines as precise as possible. So once I was done with the body outline, at this point I had went ahead and cured it for 60 seconds just in case I mess up on the smaller lines. I wouldn't mess up the entire outline. So here I am trying to do like the mouth and like the nose area. Um, it was super difficult. So here I have it sped up just a little bit more than the rest of it. I'm gonna keep in all of my mistakes just so that you can see how many times I attempted it. Um, and so once I finished all of my mistakes, I did go ahead and do it off camera just because it was a lot easier. And even off camera, I did have a few more mistakes, but um, I ended up getting it. And once I was satisfied, I went ahead and cured it. And you will see that in a few seconds, getting these really, really tiny lines was so like it was the most difficult part of this entire Care Bear nail. Um, and like you just really have to take your time. The main thing with these no art like this is getting the proportions right like the head shape of the Care Bear it wasn't really correct like the cheeks aren't really as wide as the real Care Bear picture and since that was kind of off it did throw off the rest of the designs just because it had to be placed like in a specific place but also I had to make sure I had enough room to fill everything in there and so once I finished everything I just went ahead and tried it off camera and this is how that part is looking and let me just say I'm super impressed at how it turned out like the mouth you can tell that her tongue is there and her little smile like the dimension to her cheeks I was just really impressed at how this turned out but the eyes, there's something wrong with the eyes. I think I had too many layers and I placed like her pupils in the wrong spot. So it looks a little bit weird, but don't worry. I did go ahead and change it once I finished everything. At first I wasn't, but it was just like, it was really throwing me off. So once I finished everything, I did go ahead and change it off camera. But for now, I'm taking like a really light pink mixed with some white and I'm just kind of dabbing some like on the body. 
and this was definitely a trust the process part so I just kind of dapped it on there I went ahead and dried off my brush and just kind of made it like a little bit of highlight so that it could give the bear some dimension um, I also think I did add a little bit more before I finished the set off camera but once I did that part I did go ahead and cure it and now I'm taking her primary collection I know at first I show all of those gel polishes but since I figured it would be too watery and I wouldn't be able to get it as neat as possible I did go ahead and switch over to those so I'm just putting that on the belly area making a rainbow And then after having the rainbow cured on, I am taking the black gel paint once again and just kind of separating those colors with the black to make sort of like an outline for the rainbow. So yeah, it's coming along very nicely. I'm really loving how it's turning out. Um, and this is basically how it's looking so far. I did go ahead and change the eyes. As you can see, it looks so much better. Up in the left corner of the screen, I did put how it previously looked. And as you can see, there's such a huge difference. So much better. And it actually makes her face expression look a whole lot better. Um, I just finished up some other smaller details off camera. And so now, I reached for my dotting tool. This is how it is. I'm not sure how it broke, but it was the size I needed. So I'm still going to be using it. I moved on to my ring finger and I'm just going to start by making some clouds. This design is actually inspired by someone on Instagram. She's a nail content creator and her name is Nails by Lindsay. I will leave her ad name up on the screen. Um, and also the picture that I am recreating. As you can see, like it's so pretty. I absolutely love this design. And I feel like since I also did kind of take this design a little bit farther away from Valentine's Day, I feel like this would kind of bring it back to the design but not make it like strictly Valentine's Day-ish. And also I just wanted to include this because it looks very dreamy with the clouds and I feel like it would fit very nice with the Care Bear. So yeah, also I just wanted to recreate this because I thought it was so pretty. So yeah, I'm just going to be recreating this nail here. I'm just creating the heart for the balloon. And I was actually really impressed at how the balloon turned out as well. Like, so yeah, I don't want to really talk over all of the nail art. So I am just going to let you guys um, continue watching and enjoy this. And I will be back in a few seconds. So for the last balloon, just like the inspo picture, this is one of the elements I really love to this. So the balloon has the element that is floating in between the clouds and not just like on top. So for the last cloud, I did make it on top of the string to give this balloon some dimension. I went ahead and cured that in place and also I felt like this wouldn't be right until I add some of my go-to nail fillers which are the four pointed stars. I did add three on camera and decided to do another one at the top of the nail. And I just really love how this nail turned out. And yeah, that's basically all of the nail art I'm going to be doing. Of course, I did repeat that on my thumb. But instead of one balloon, I did two. And that one was just so gorgeous as well. Um, and recently, I did order these um, little heart pearl charms from Amazon. I wanted to go in with some of these. But as you can see, they have really big hearts. 
um and i did try these smaller ones but they were still a little bit too thick for the design so instead of using these i am just going to go in with some of these smaller pearls and do some really simple cuticle bling on my french tip nails and while i'm doing this i am going to be topping the nails off with some top coat as well Alright, so now that I have my pearls cured into place, I'm just going to go ahead and top the rest of the nails off with some top coat. And this part was so satisfying to see like the glossiness on these on the nail art. And also since the nails that I have nail art on, like I mentioned, once they dry into place, like the color just disappears. Um, so I am going to be top coating underneath as well just to give that really clear glass effect. Once I get on the top coat, I'm going to cure all of them for 60 seconds and then I will be back to show you guys what the finished nails look like. So once I've added on my cuticle oil to top off the nail set and then to re-nourish my cuticles, this is how the nails turned out. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I'm so in love with them. And honestly, I just cannot believe that I just did this on my nails. Like two years ago, if you had told me I would be drawing stuff like this on my nails, I would honestly tell you that you were crazy. Like even though it's not even that advanced. It was very easy and simple to do but this is a lot for most people and once you actually start it's actually very difficult but for me to like actually draw this and you know exactly what it is it looks very decent like I just cannot get over this I was just staring at them the entire time I didn't even want to take them off but I had to film other content so of course they had to come off and these were definitely worth saving like just look at the balloons like they're just so pretty and with the balloon when i showed my sister she asked me like which stickers did i use and i was like these are not stickers i actually drew these so that made me feel even better about how the nail art turned out and i'm so glad that i end up doing another set because this one is just so much better than the first one so yeah i'm so obsessed with these and i love them so much but yeah that's it for today's video i love the mccart your nail art box i love the colors in it also i love that it gave you an acrylic and also a poly gel i really love that about it I will leave everything down below for you guys to check out and all of the other products that I use from Nails by Dev. Yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought about today's set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.